Hey guys, Motor Car Nut here, and today we're talking about the TSI VW engine, the uh, counterbalance um, lining up the timing marks. Uh, there's a lot of reasons you have to do that, and one reason you're probably watching the video is you took off the crank bolt and decided to turn the engine and everything fell out because there's a special tool that goes here when you take the crank pulley off supposed to put this plastic tool in there and then put the uh, crank bolt back down then you could take off the uh, timing cover if you don't do that these all these gears can just fall right out and if they do don't worry i'll show you how to reline the timing now you have over here one calendar balance over here this drives the oil uh the um the water pump believe it or not it goes down the side, and there's a gear. If you ever took the water pump on there, here is a little belt, like it looks like a timing belt, and there's a gear, and that gear is in this cylinder over here. That's over here. It's also another weight. So these have to be lined up perfect or less, you're gonna have vibration problems. All right, so now, Depending upon the uh, chain, let's say if it's the factory chain, you disregard these two color links. You're going to look for the single color links. You have one over here with a dot. You see that dot? We're going to get back to that. Then there's going to be another dot with a color link. And then over here, another color link and a dot. All right? So let's say, and this dot, has to point down so like if you look at the engine right it looks like it's a little bit on an angle like that so that dot you want it there's a slot here you want that basically just pretty much in line with the engine you want it straight so if the engine is straight you want it straight if the engine is on a little angle like this you want that notch see this little notch here one and two and let me show you again. Directly below that is your timing mark, right? So that one has to be, like I said, up and down like that, a little bit more, like that. And now you see this mark? That's This mark has to be on this colored link with this nice and straight. So like when this is all messed up, well, usually if the chain falls off, this is not going to fall off, so you'll be in good shape over here. But just in case you took it off and you weren't paying attention, that's how you line it up. This slot and down there, you can't see that little dot has to be nice and straight in line. The chain mark here, dot. Dot over here with the different color link. That's what I meant. Different color link and the dot. And on the bottom you're gonna have two marks, but there's gonna be an arrow dot that points down. That is for this colored link. You see that? Different color. And now over here, you have another timing mark. This one right here, but that is for the timing chain. Don't worry about that. That mark is for the timing chain, not the, you know, the timing chain with the cams and everything, not the intermediate or counterbalance chain, all right? So basically, that's how you set that up. And you make sure you put this tool on there, snug this down, so now you can move it around, you can do whatever you want, and everything stays in timing. All right, guys, motor car up. Please subscribe, hit that like button. Any questions pertaining to this video, leave them below. I answer all my questions and I'll see you guys in the next video.